If you're uh, building a cloud computing system, you know you have to deal with a control panel to keep track of everything about your system. Uh, we're going to talk to ServerPilot because they're building a really interesting control panel that works on top of a lot of clouds. And it's very, very nicely done. And we're going to see it right now, ServerPilot. And who are you? Thanks, Robert. I'm Justin Samuel. I'm the CEO and co-founder of ServerPilot. And so my background is for the past 10 years, I've been doing a lot of development and system administration uh, and also with a focus on security. So uh, I, my focus on system administration was on security and then I went back to do security research and focused on things like the security of Linux package managers. In the process, did some great stuff. I ended up uh, working, uh, doing a PhD research at Berkeley. Um, enjoyed the whole academic experience, but what I really realized was that the same problems that I was fighting before I had gone to grad school, just in managing servers, making this beautiful, making it easy, those problems still existed. And so I decided to go out and solve it. So myself and a friend of mine, a year ago, we started this company, ServerPilot, and what we're building is we're building a great and easy control panel for PHP developers to use to manage their cloud servers. Yeah, and you run on top of uh, like the Rackspace Cloud and Amazon and all that, right? That's correct. So, so it's uh, something that's complementary to, for example, the Rackspace control panel. So the idea is you bring up your server at Rackspace or EC2 or DigitalOcean or wherever, and then um, you have that great server provided by whoever your infrastructure provider is, but now you need a way to manage your server, and that's where we come in. So we make it so that you can just grab one of these Rackspace cloud servers, uh, run our installer, it connects your server to us, then you log into our control panel, and then from that point on, like our system takes care of keeping the server secure, uh, configuring your application stack, uh, monitoring your system stats, monitoring logs, and notifying you of application errors. Basically, like the what we're building here is just like the easiest and best way to to deploy and run your applications and manage your servers. Now, most of our customers probably only have Rackspace systems, but uh, I know quite a few people who are doing t both companies or three companies, right? And certainly when you get to the enterprise and you have d different groups, some are on Rackspace, some are on Amazon, some are on whatnot, this becomes more important, right? Yeah, this is definitely our tool, ServerPilot, uh, makes it easy to manage your servers at different providers across cloud. So we have one control panel you log into. It's at our website. Um, and from there, you get to see and manage your Rackspace servers, your EC2 servers. You actually can use our uh, systems, and people do, with like local vagrant virtual machine installs. So your developers can be having the same development environment just locally in their VM uh, that they would use in production. And even those local systems, they get to manage them and the applications on there through our control panel. Yeah, sounds like you're commoditizing us, but... Uh... <laughs> But you're not really, right? No, so we run entirely within the operating system. So Rackspace is great about providing like the server with the bare operating system. You're not really focused on like, you know, the specific, you know, optimized and secure PHP application stack within that server. However, you're, so your customers love the fact that you have like great reliable cloud servers and that you can take server snapshots really easily. Um, other great things you have like the backup agent. Um, you know, all that stuff is great at kind of like a generic, we don't know what you're really exactly doing with the server, but we're just making the server run really well level. But then what, within the server, like the, the developer has concerns there too. They want to know the application's running well. They want to make it easy to deploy and reconfigure their apps. Uh, they want to make sure that the actual like server health is good with respect to their app so they can figure out like, oh, like I, I'm, I'm having slow queries now. I might not have noticed that because I wasn't watching my logs, but thankfully ServerPilot noticed that like I've just got like a, you know, rash of slow queries and that's why my application's slow and I wouldn't have seen that otherwise, so. Yeah, can we see what it sort of looks like and then talk about maybe how, it, how you pay for this and, and how that works? Yeah, definitely, definitely. So here we see a list of like servers that you're managing through ServerPilot and there's the details of one specific server. And you see we have things like monitoring like, you know, what's current like memory and CPU and uh, various other stats that we have. Th those are real time and you can keep an eye on like the health of individual servers. Uh, then within, for any individual server, you can have multiple applications. Yeah. Um, so there on that particular server, there's one app. Uh, and then you can go and then see the details of the, that app. So this is a, a PHP 5.4 app. Uh, and you can then view like the individual logs of the app. So you can deploy SSL certificates. 
then you can manage databases for the application. So this is the kind of stuff that you, would, you don't actually have to log into your server to do anymore. And we do a lot more than just keep it so you don't have to log into your server. We have like kind of a more holistic view of what's going on, essentially using server pilot as like a dashboard to make sure everything, all of your apps and all of your servers are working well, that you're notified of any problems. Uh, just making sure that like you don't have to worry about these business things that so you don't have to think like oh did i forget to like uh you know check the logs or set up some type of log monitoring tool that kind of stuff like it's just taken care of for you I, i'm noticing and, and rackspace is noticing this too that as we head into this contextual age that i just finished a book about uh that we're seeing a, a lot more data flows and a lot more flexibility needed right we, we call it uh, we're seeing people uh, enterprises move to uh, hybrid clouds. Some some piece of their system is in their own data center. Some piece of it is in the public cloud. Some piece of it might be managed by a company like Rackspace on on their own servers. Are you able to to build a common view of of all those different servers, like on OpenStack, maybe? Uh, well, well, we do view like build a common view of servers, but we're actually very focused on um, specific types of applications. So we're not trying to be generic. There's any type of use for your server. So you're not you're not you're not replacing Puppet or Chef or um, Salt Stack or any, you're not doing the. Uh, Right, so we're not, right, so we're not a generic DevOps tool. So yeah, we definitely, DevOps. in the case, if you, if you have like a hundred servers or you know a few hundred, and especially if you have your own dedicated DevOps team, um, you're probably not going to be using our tool because at that point, when you have that scale, you're having to write your own monitoring and management tools. Our focus is on customers that tend to have less than a hundred servers. People are usually it's um, very frequently it's like uh, development shops or developers who are m managing the websites for their clients. Yeah. Um, and then also um, businesses that have, they're just trying to run their own website. Maybe it's a complex site, but it's not the level of complexity that they're at the kind of hundreds of servers and they're needed to dynamically spin them up to deal with load. Uh, they're just more traditional applications, maybe you know five or 10 servers uh, arranged in a certain way. So we're really focused on like that use case of yeah. like you know, where maybe you have like a couple core developers maybe even five developers, they're really focused on the application development side, you probably don't have a team of full-time sysadmins. And that's what we're making it, so that you, you can just go ahead and use these uh, cloud servers that are out there now. It's, they're so fast, they're so cheap, they're so easy to spin up. Why, why is a company gonna go and host their mission critical business website at a shared hosting company? Um, why are they going to like, you know, leave it to that type of environment when they can just grab like, a great cloud server, have that level of isolation, have the level of like, quality that you know, companies like Rackspace provide, and then not even have to worry about needing to contract or hire a sysadmin because then they have a company like ServerPilot, a service that just manages like, all of the basic needs they have, like software updates, configuring the firewall, you know, stats and log monitoring, reconfiguring the application, ensuring it's a it's a like the correct like an efficient stack for the type of application they have. So so that's really the focus there. Not yeah. a replacement for uh, Chef and Puppet. Yeah, uh, there's not really a competitor for you, is there? Um, is no, it, there actually isn't a competitor in our exact space. I mean, space. I guess the Rackspace team is a competitor, or the one that's at Amazon that's building their own control panels. No, actually, we we love the Rackspace team, and like we we love like the Rackspace control panel. We, there's actually not a whole lot of overlap. People spin up their server, the Rackspace control panel, and come to us and connect it. And in the future, we'll let people actually just provide us the Rackspace API key, and then we'll spin up the server at Rackspace. So so we actually like the fact that these infrastructure providers exist. We're not we're not a hosting company. We're not selling our own servers. We're just in the server management business. Yeah. Um, the closest competitors that exist and what people are using now, and actually the, the pain point that like, uh, myself and my co-founder experienced when we started this company was that people do, developers do want a nice GUI interface and a type of hosting control panel. But the only hosting control panels that exist are these ones that were made for shared hosting companies selling you know, just cheap shared mass market hosting. Yeah. Um, these control panels were designed a long time ago. They're really- C panel or something? C panel, like Plask, and these are great for if you're a hosting company selling shared hosting and that's your whole business. However, there's, if you're a developer or a, like independent business and you just need a type of control panel to manage your server, those control panels just don't, they don't, they don't cut it. 
Um, there's a lot of concerns about security. There's a lot of like concerns about level of complexity and just like the, the, the problems they're trying to solve aren't the problems that people are having they're trying to solve when they're trying to run on cloud servers and they're using multiple servers. So, yeah. so that's really what happened was that we looked at the space and we said, well, people sometimes are learning DevOps tools when they really don't need to or want to. Yeah. Um, they're sometimes like using- Like Puppet and Chef and they Yeah, have they only have, they have like 10 servers. They don't need to automate like, you know, spinning up dozens and dozens of servers. Then they don't know how to manage the servers well. They're just following a tutorials on how to run a script to configure the stack. But what they really want is they want it all done for them. And then sometimes they're turning to, you know, control panels like Plesk. But the problem is that it wasn't made for them as a developer or business running, you know, running on a cloud server. So that's the problem we jumped in here to solve. What are we seeing up here in New York? Okay, so this is showing the uh, running the installer command. So imagine you just grabbed a server at, uh, at Rackspace. Um, and you go to you go to server pilot and say I have a new server. We give you a command to run that command there, and you just go ahead and copy and paste that on your server. We'll make this a little bit simpler in the future. But that's the only thing you have to do on your server. Okay. That's going to run for a few seconds, and then what's going to happen is that's going to install an agent on your server that connects back to us. Yeah. It's a secure connection. It's going to stay open. Then when you perform any action through our uh, website through our control panel. We're going to communicate with that agent, and that agent that's running on your server is going to instruct like what to do. Uh, like so download an update or whatnot. That's correct. Reconfigure Apache, reconfigure Nginx or PHP, or you know perform any other types of actions. You need to change passwords, make databases. Now that you have some customers using this now, right? What, what do they say? Does this mean to them? How, do they get a day a week back? What, what, what do they uh, tell you is the results of using Server Pilot for a couple months? It's a combination of saving time, but also um, it's not just about can we like save time. It's also about uh, like saving fear and concern about things being broken and going wrong. So um, when people use other solutions that they have now, if they're trying to do it themselves, like to manage the server, but they don't have expertise, they have to worry like, am I? Did I remember to set up like updates correctly on that server? Is that server patched? Is it vulnerable to something? Um, they have to wonder if they installed their own control panel, like some other control panel besides us that has its own public facing web interface. Those have been like known to have major security vulnerabilities. So now they have a set of 10 servers and they have to wonder which version of the control panel that I stay up to date on whether or not like that version of that specific control panel has a, a vulnerability. And um, so actually one of our like uh, major initial customers who came to us was using another control panel and it w we had a very high end client on that um, server and the server got hacked through the control panel and that was their primary motivation to switch to us. It wasn't that they were looking to save X number of days a week, though it did save them time to switch to us. Uh, what they were really looking for is they needed something that was really built for them as a developer yeah. that like their whole company wasn't based around like the control panel for selling hosting. So if you're a hosting company and you have hundreds of servers running cPanel, you can have full-time people working with the cPanel team, applying updates and security patches, and they have their own routine. But if you're a developer, you don't have time for that. You just need to know what you have works and it works yeah. right. As our world gets more and more digital or contextual, even I, I, I'm going to I hope to go to John Deere and meet their tractor team. But they're putting dozens of sensors, and they, you know, they have a tractor of the future, right? They might not have a guy like Twitter has who understands how to keep things up and running, right? That's correct. They, they yeah. need your help to make it easier so that they can get back to building apps for the enterprise, right? That's right. We just want to support the app developer. Right. Like our goal is to make it so that like the app developer doesn't have to worry about server management, uh, but they still get all the benefits of using like you know direct infrastructure providers like Rackspace. Uh, but then they don't have to hire sysadmins. They don't have to contract sysadmins. Um, they don't have to like worry about any of those details. It just works out of the box. How, how do you guys charge? What's your business model? Uh, we charge per server per month. So we have an um, initial plan like the, that starts at $5 per server per month that handles um, all the basic like server configuration and security updates. Um, then our higher level plans um, like go up towards the $40 a month and up. And what those provide is much deeper monitoring of like your logs and server stats and notifying you of when there's issues. Uh, additional features for like uh, like groups of uh, like teams of developers working together. Yeah. So essentially, like we we really want to have it be an accessible like price wise accessible to all types of users out there. Anyone who can afford there's five and even Rackspace has ten dollar a month cloud server. We want those people who just have it for just like a hobbyist or personal project to be able to afford it. But then we also have these like features that are you know if you have a business critical application, you need to know five hundred errors on your site can be costing you money right now. Right now, we, most of the developers we talk to, 
don't aren't even aware of when those are happening. They're finding about, out about them much later after the fact and have trouble debugging them. So basically, making it easy for people to have like really great error-free sites, like highly performant. When I go and visit uh, development teams at startups like Flipboard, for instance, they had a, a big wall with like six monitors up on the wall so they can watch the health of their of their infrastructure. What kinds of things would uh, Server Pilot put up on those walls? So actually, we are we have a dashboard under construction. What you saw before, we have individual details pages for like servers and apps. But one of the things that we're working on and rolling out in the near future is a general dashboard that companies can leave up uh, to monitor everything that's happening in real time. Does uh, it turn red if something's going wrong? It, it does turn red if <laughs> <laughs> first we're like in design development that's what, stage. You know, it's up on the wall. Yeah, and yeah. You like, want to know. You also want you also want to get you know text messages of certain types of errors and email reports of like you know of certain types of errors in real time or just weekly reports of things that are like less important that you want to know what went on. Um, so there's a lot of kind of notification um, type stuff that goes on there. But this involves everything from like spikes in like server health, like CPU. Um, usage and memory, low disk space, to things like um, 500 errors, like attacks on your sites, uh, attempted logins, um, even just audit logs of like people who like did correctly access the site, um, like general average performance, like speed it takes, like how long it takes for a request to complete for different different request paths, um, this type of information. Now note that there's other people in the application performance uh, monitoring area, yeah. like obviously like New Relic. Yeah. We're not going deep. They like, were here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they're great. We're not going deep like uh, New Relic is in APM. You know, we're not going to be showing you like a like a function call, like a trace level of like your PHP application and where the time is. We're focused more on like the server level and understanding how those requests work with like you know what's happening in the logs and the server load. So, so actually, our tools work very well together. Very cool. Um, this probably helps you build a more secure system because you can see when a, a system is really getting put under extreme load, right? Yeah, that, that's correct. So um, that's when security stuff starts. Uh, you know, uh, we just had a security company on, and that's what they do. They put a lot of load on on your server, to, and then they try to do stuff and see if they can sneak in. Oh yeah, <laughs> and, that's, um, and so we we actually have a great vantage point of being able to see like the logs of like many servers. We can um, see you know when attacks are happening. Uh, we can identify. We can make sure servers are updated. That's one of the most obvious ways that people the people we talk to and. Uh, have security flaws, so yeah. they're just not keeping their systems updated. Whether it's at the, like the system level of packages or like their applications like WordPress and vBulletin and others that do have these vulnerabilities occasionally, people need to be aware when these have vulnerabilities. But most of the people using these applications aren't out there every hour watching like the email list, the developer announcement list for these applications. They need to be told. So there's a lot of ways that we can go in and actually just help people keep their servers secure, uh, make this really easy for them. Yeah. A lot of these new systems now, you know, if I build something on Rackspace, uh, it's also going out to other, th you know, it's going to factual and pulling in, you know, location data and going out to this API and this API. Do you, are you giving me visibility to any of the APIs that are going on and telling me, oh, factual's buggy today or not returning what it's supposed to? Or? So we have, so some of the, like that's in the area of things kind of in our brainstorm list of, we have a lot of ideas for what we're going to be doing in the next year. We want to help people, help people tie in that information from other places, whether it's their existing analytic sources or whether it's the APIs that they're using. Um, but basically, like, like any way that you can take that information in the context of like what we know about the server and the application, because look, we're managing that server and see the logs and the code and everything happening there. Um, any way that we can help developers solve like you know problems, identify bugs, identify performance issues, and help their business, um, we're going to be pursuing. So, so these Sounds are great good. ideas. We don't have those implemented yet, but uh, they're definitely on the list. Tell me about the company you're building. Uh, how's it funded? And how, how many people you have working and stuff like that? So right now it's three people. Uh, my co-founder, so Kevin, very small. Kevin Lukens, myself. That's correct. Yeah. We've been doing this a year. We actually um, we recently brought on our first hire. Um, so we're all engineers. Um, and like this is, a, we're all sysadmins as background, uh, so we're a very engineering heavy company at the moment. Um, we've been around for a year, and we actually um, are uh, angel funded at the moment. Um, so we went through AngelPad uh, about a year ago, the incubator. Th Thomas Corte. That's correct. Yep. That's correct. And that was a great start. So that was just when, like, um, that's when we we just began at that time. You know, he worked we, at Google, so you know. 
He knows something about keeping servers up. He, he does. He knows a lot. Of, he put us in contact with a lot of great people. And so, so we started there. And uh, like since then, it's been great. You know, we just started, we started building the product then, um, talking to users and getting out there. And we iterated uh, quite a bit, um, like, you know, just like pricing model and other things. And um, we launched our product only about two months ago now, the actual paid version of it. And so far, it's been great. Yeah. Very cool. Well, thank you for coming in and talking to me about it. It's real, I think it's real important. Uh, uh, area in the age of context, we're going to need more and more of this because our systems are getting more and more complex. And uh, you know, I don't want to hire a whole team watching my, you know, my uh, my uh, personal cloud, right? So That's wasted effort. Great, thanks. Thank a lot. you very much.